is going on guys? Andy Gabs back for another video. My first reptile related video being at the Reptarium in BHB. And uh, I think we're gonna start this one off right away and we're just gonna feed some stuff. Um, I've got two mice and I'm just gonna walk around and see what looks hungry and get this video started. We're gonna just toss these guys. We're just gonna toss them into the back and uh, see if Argus like goes after him. So there he is. Oh, he didn't see me. He's not happy. He's not a happy dude. Hey, look at, look at, look at, look at, I know. Look, look, look. Artemis, look up. Oh, you're fine, you big baby. Come on, go get it. Go get it. Artemis, what the heck? I guess Artemis is uh, not hungry, but I'm sure he'll eat those at some point. So we left one in there, uh, and now I guess we will try to feed something else and see how that goes. It's go proving to be more difficult than it was supposed to be. There she goes. <laughs> nice and easy, right? She's like, now I'm gonna walk away with it. Yeah, she's it. like, now I'm gonna run away with it. Oh, that's the best part, but. Dude, so that's like crazy different than, if I can find the clip of um, when they got Ubisoft, because I was here that day when we got, or when the Brian babies? got her in. No, 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 oh, when oh, he when got he her back. Her back. Oh. Yeah, I was here that day, and we put her in, and like, she was like cool and everything was going all right. And then Brian was standing like right here with it open. I think Andrea, I think you were there too. Yeah. And like she tail slapped and it was like inches from hitting Brian in the oh, face. Yeah. It don't feel good. It was <laughs> terrifying. Um, but so I mean that's a, a good step in the right direction. At least you can touch her now. Yeah. She totally wants to eat the microphone. Yeah, I don't think I would hold her. I think uh, it's, a little, it's a little scary. So another cool thing that wasn't here the last time that I was here. There's a string hanging from my microphone. Uh, that wasn't here the last time I was here is the two-headed animals. So they have Mario and Luigi, right? That's their name? Yeah. Mario and Luigi, the two-headed snapping turtle that's right here. Uh, very, very small. Let's see. Right there. So that's a little two-headed snapper. I'm not gonna try to take it out just because they're so like delicate and little and fragile, but super, super cute. As cute as a uh, two-headed snapping turtle can be, I guess. But then on the other side, the super cool animal that everyone knows, um, Ben and Jerry right here. Ben and Jerry is a two-headed California king snake. You can actually see the two heads right there and then just give me one second, I'll actually take him out so you guys can see him. Here is Ben and Jerry. Like I said, this is a two-headed California king snake. Um, I've never really like gotten up close with them, but how cool is it that it's like, not only is this snake like living, but it's thriving and like doing perfectly well with two heads. Look at that. That is a legit animal like with two heads. I don't it's so crazy to me that things can survive with two heads. Like I know there's people and stuff that have two heads. I'm also curious like if he wanted to bite me which which head would bite, you know what I mean? Or like would they both try to get me? But yeah. Totally awesome. Uh, getting hands-on with a two-headed snake is uh, that's definitely a bucket list item that I can check off. Go ahead, toss him back in. While we're talking about like animals that are kind of like freaks, you know, the two-headed snapping turtle, and then Ben and Jerry, the two-headed snake. I'm gonna get another animal that's kind of a kind of a freaky animal for you in more ways than one. Um, just give me one second. Let me go grab it. as Brian's about to walk into the video, unsuspecting. This right here is Helen, the albino ball python that has no eyes. Like, look at how crazy that is. And again, it's just an animal that, just like the two-headed animals, that's kinda weird, a little bit freaky, but is completely thriving here. So no eyes or anything like that. Completely awesome. Um, yeah, let's check something else out now. I wanna continue with the kinda like weird and creepy animals. Not creepy, just like the weird ones, you know? And this is definitely one. I think, I don't think I even knew what this was before I started, you know, talking to Brian and whatnot. But this is a rhino rat snake. So if you look really close at the end of his nose, there is a little tiny horn, just like a, a little rhino horn. Um, I have no idea why it's there. Oh, there you go, that's a perfect shot. I have no idea why that horn is there. Like, I don't know what they use it for. And uh, Brian's doing a tour right now. Otherwise, I would just go and ask him, but it's so cool. Like, it's just the weirdest little thing. Like, I'm trying to think of what, like, practical application that horn would have, you know? And I honestly have, have no idea. But another just kind of weird animal here at the Reptarium. I think I got a couple more that I'm going to show you. It sounds like there's something 
right there. I'm just gonna look. Oh. Bruce brought his dog to work and his dog is in here and it sounded like there was something scratching. I thought there was like an animal loose. Just a dog, but uh, yeah. Again, the rhino rat snake, super weird animal. Okay, so I was like walking around and I was like, man, what's another like weird animal? And I was given the idea of, hey, do the leaf tails, right? Europlatus frembriata. And I was sitting here and I was like, okay, cool. Yeah, let me grab one. Where's the gecko at, yo? I literally just sat here 20 seconds, just staring and I was like, what, I don't see it. He's right there, right on that log. That's how good their camo is, but I'm gonna go ahead and grab them out real quick. Here is those giant uh, leaf tail geckos, or one of them, I guess. They have the craziest eye pattern, like out of any animal, I think. My camera like will not focus correct. There we go, yeah, look at that eye. It's just so gnarly looking. Like their faces almost look like alligator faces. Man, but look at how cool that dude is. He almost looks like he wants to jump somewhere. See, see if I can get him a bigger surface to jump onto. Jump. Maybe he doesn't want to jump. But again, another kind of the super weird animals here. And then I got one more to show you that I'm kind of afraid of, but Andrea promised me it wouldn't hurt me. Um, so I'll take it out right now. So Brian's moving uh, salt and pepper into their new enclosures right yes, now. Yes, for the first time they're going into their new places. With any luck, it'll all work out well and they'll be able to stay in there for the next six or eight months till they get too big. So we don't have to keep taking them in and out of their enclosures oh, to put them in back. So. <laughs> I know, aren't they amazing? So. So this is obviously salt, so you can do it like this. And then you just, 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 you know, give me one second, stay. And then you can just go underneath like that, perfect. And you don't have to support her legs, just like that. And she'll stay right there for you. So again, we do the training with her to where she knows that when she's in someone's hands, you can move around, but she's not supposed to move. Go baby. I might just actually put her right up on this ledge right first, so she can make a decision what she wants to do. There you go, baby. Oh my gosh, she looks so good. She does. There you go, sweetheart. It's so cute. There we go. Your new digs. Brian was releasing salt, so I felt like I kind of had to get that on video. Um, just because, sneaking in again. Just because, I mean, salt getting released into the new enclosure, right? I can't really, I can't really deny that. But um, yeah, so here's the other ones. They're like, I just, they're just freaky, dude. They're, cause like I have toads that live in my house, right? There's one that's like live in my little drain thing. But like, these guys, let me show you how big they are. Yeah, okay, look at how big this is. Like, what? It's not gonna bite me. Hey, 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 come here. Oh, it moved, kinda scary. Yeah, but like, it's just a, it's literally just like your everyday house toad, but ginormous. And here's the other one. I don't know how to do this cage. Oh, that goes that way. Like, look at how big. And evidently, like, they secrete this stuff, and if you were to, for some reason, lick the toad, um, you would get super super sick. It's not the ones that make you high, but yeah, I mean, they're actually oh god They're really cool. But I just get scared when they when they move fast I think I'll let a giant snake bite me with no problem, but I'm scared of a toad. Well, hey uh, Fetty Wap was just going crazy for attention. So I figured I'd show him off real quick, too We're just kind of showing off the crazy weird animals Ubisuku's over here grilling um, in my next video. We're definitely gonna uh we're gonna take a whole lot of stuff out. I know I'm gonna I'm gonna get lucky out. Me and uh, Mr. Pickles, right here. I'm gonna have a date with Mr. Pickles. You guys know I love green tree python, so that's gonna be super cool. We're gonna take all kinds of stuff out in the next video. But for now, Bruce. Um, but for now, I'm gonna end the kind of crazy animal video. Thank you guys for watching. I do appreciate it. If you are new here, all right. Hey, butterflies. <laughs> all this is staying. Okay. This is no, it's great. not. No, it's not. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, like this video, subscribe, turn the notification bell on, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!